This is going to be one of the last late, late shows, if not the last for 2018. Are you ready for the last one? Boy, do Beck and Matt have a surprise for you. Are you all seated now? And we are live in four, three, two, one. Carpool karaoke! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, that's done, we're done. That's oh, carpool, nice. That was carpool karaoke. Hey. So, yeah, what are we doing? Alrighty, yes. welcome. Hey. You just appeared. Hey. You just hey. appeared. Hey. Where did you even come from? <laughs> yeah. A wallaby! That's a kangaroo. Oh. Just a, a regular. Kangaroo. <laughs> wallaby. You're supposed to hit those, right? No. Oh, okay. So should we all do a little bit of singing? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, now we can go 100. Have reception. Oh, it's your favorite song, Shri. Oh, it's your favorite song. Car is off. Ooh. You won't want to die. I'm used by... Can you please... You guys are uh, dying back there in terms of the bumpiness? Uh, look, uh, in terms of the speed and the amount of trust that I have with you. Zero. And then, like, I have went through no doubt that we will die. <coughs> Just quickly turn from a karaoke carpool <laughs> to a please take us home with <laughs> I don't know where we are. We won't do something. Do you right. know what's a surprisingly great musical? Shrek. Shrek! <laughs> it's a great musical! It's, it's really good. Have you seen it? Except Shrek. The musical right. is 10 out of 10. Oh, really? And wow. Lord Farquaad is actually a really tall man who does a whole show on his knees. So he has like <laughs> costumed like legs like no stuck way. to his. Wow. And he does a dance on his knees. Um, as I'm editing this carpool karaoke, I'm realizing that we are missing an entire uh, rendition of Frozen from Arity. Um, because the GoPro ran out of footage space. That's my bad. Um, so we're just gonna cut to the end. Yeah. You can just imagine Arity singing Frozen. I'm sure it'd be really nice. Yep, cool. Okay, bye. Alright guys, well it's actually time for us to do the late yeah. show now. So, so well, let's I'm let's just go right in and with the power of movie magic, we'll be there in five, four, three. Hello! Oh, hey! Did you miss us? I'm car sick and I was the one driving. It was terrifying. Can we all just take a moment to reflect upon that experience? We nearly died. We did Hello. get changed very quick. It was a really quick dress change in between the three and the two. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's very, very good. Mm. We're very quick. Wow. Oh, welcome to the show tonight, friends. Hey, welcome to the show! Woo! The final show. The final show of the late, 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 late show. It's Aww. a happy, sad kind of feeling. Like when you're like hangry. No, not hangry. Like <laughs> no, hungry, thirsty. Hungry, very thirsty. Sad. It's like happy, sad. It's like, oh, it's the last show. That's a lose, lose. Hungry, thirsty. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's a combination of feelings. It's confusing. Anyway, we've got Sharif and Aridy here with us we today. 
Welcome back. So, unfortunately, some of our footage got lost. It wasn't Abby's fault. It's okay. Abby Thank did you for an amazing job with that video, and she shouldn't be embarrassed. Amazing. So, extra applause. Yes, Thank you for Abby. Thank you very much. Abby. She literally risked her life to view that footage. Uh, she was <laughs> hiding in the back right of that car, if you look really closely. It was honestly, yeah, still yeah, terrifying. <laughs> Especially when it's like bumpy and wet and dark, and there are kangaroos on the road. Wallabies. <laughs> anyway, so whilst we were in the car, we saw some of that pretty expert whistling from Matt. Did you guys catch that? It was pretty. It was quite incredible. <laughs> Round of applause. Why not? And it actually triggered that some other talk about whistling, which was actually super interesting. Street, tell and us, please. It was please. lost in footage, but we can do it again. Because real life happens. Um, so when we were kids, and my brother can verify this for us. Um, oh, can you do it live? After. Do it after the show. Yeah, after. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. So when we were kids, um, this is getting personal. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a problem. Amazing. Incredible. Shady, can you confirm this story, please? Can you it's whistle true. back? Can you have like a cute little... Suspense. He's going to try, everyone. The suspense is this building, guys. A cross room whistling. Hush. There we go. Hey. Shady's like, oh, how did it go? Oh, quick, you've got to think of something on the spot. Uh, <laughs> no, that's really interesting. And then we kind of joked that now we all know how to rob Shady's house. Yeah. <laughs> so congratulations, guys. You've made and it Teresa. big time. And Arity, did you have a story as well about whistling as a child? No. No, Arity, <laughs> no, Arity actually talked a lot about singing, didn't you? We talked a little about Shrek the Musical and we talked about... Um, you know, what's healthy for a, a singing voice? Yeah. Oh, did we? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. No, that was that might have been during dinner time, but it's still very interesting. <laughs> it's still very interesting. Um, well, I asked you for some tips because I was losing my voice since the voice cracks. Yeah. What, was, what was your advice? This is very helpful. Uh, Ready? The police are coming, the police are coming. <laughs> Very interesting. And I also, um, because I don't know the names of anything in here, I do a lot of imagined lyrics. And some of my imagines are like an imagined lyric kind of thing. <laughs> and you have a big pulse and a beat, and you can sing into that beat as you want to sing low. Oh. So Lovely. That's basically all we missed from that. Apart from a brilliant rendition of uh, "Let It Go," "Let It Go," which was I, I didn't even know the words, so <laughs> it was. I'm, I'm not not too sad that we missed that footage. Sing it. No, it's not. No, it's quite. Oh. 
Alrighty. You gotta what give the, the people what they want. Let, Let it go. go. Can't hold it with the wind, wind and sky. sky. Let, Let it go. go. Let it go. Cry. Cry. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> Everyone, thanks, uh, uh, yeah, Sharif and Arity. Woo! Oh, oh, sure, that's, that's what I was doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. And That's cool, dude. Mm. Yes. Yes. Trying to like fix whoa, whoa, <laughs> well guys, we've got to <laughs> we've got to camp where even Beck is like voice cracking. Fire out. Ooh, okay. I don't. I might do that again by accident. Um, yeah. We the hardest part was actually trying to get the camera to sit on the the car without like, <laughs> especially because Matt's a crazy driver, right? And like he would just like swish from side to side. It was. Interesting. Anyway, it's all right. So. Hey, we had a fantastic amount of time. Oh, lost all that. Had so many things. Like literal trash. We actually threw it in the bin. I'm sorry. Oh, that's what Jesus does to us. Aww. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's your fault. <laughs> we love you guys. <laughs> Promise. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I have another joke. Uh, what do you call a row of men waiting for a haircut? A haircut. A row of men. A row of men. Yes, waiting for a haircut. A barbecue. Ha. 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 We had a lot of comments actually loving Matt's voice cracks and breaks, so that's good. <laughs> that's because that's what it said. Um, now I'll cover that later. Um, apparently, Joel J, wherever you are, uh, he said that he's always on the lookout for new couples, and he was reported at for saying at breakfast, "Is it just me, or does Brian and the morning tea lady sit near each other a lot?" <laughs> oh. Just for your information, they are married. Brian, may I remind you, as you on your phone, that couples must be having an appropriate manner. Yes. Uh, I don't know what, you know, if Brian's not following the rules, then what kind of budget are you doing? No hope at all. Morning tea, lady Brian, really? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Mm -mm. I told my brother to get out and find Dad. As I stood up to get out, my friend got caught in the belt loop of the top. So I was stuck inside of us, didn't know that's why I can't get my jacket up, can't get the belt. I'm now terrified of spiders. Fair enough. Uh, 
That's terrifying. That's almost like being trapped in a car with Matt driving and wearing your seatbelt. Really? Oh. Dang it. That's not that long ago. <laughs> oh, man. I actually had a white tail. Like, I was closing the curtains in our house, and I, something, like, jumped onto my skin. I was like, ugh, yuck, something on me. And I, like, flicked it off before realizing that it was actually a white tail spider. <laughs> Equally terrified. Yes. No. But I, like, I called Zach. Well, Zach was there. And he just, like, got the spray out. I'm like, Like, actually, and, like, the floor was all, like, slippery from, like, I don't even know what's in those things. Like, it's probably bad for you, but whatever. It kills spiders, and that's all I care about. Probably. Man, we had a lot of vegan stuff in the box again tonight, but uh, that's all right. So much veganism. That's okay. <laughs> and a vegan banana is a normal banana, but that's okay. That's that's the last of the late show books for 2018. Right, oh my goodness. We do. It's very exciting. It is drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. <laughs> it's hey. <laughs> you better have been paying attention. Thank you very much. All right. We need some chairs. Time to redecorate, guys. Time to redecorate. Decorate. We, we don't have to do that. To get, no. I don't know what we're moving. I'm just getting. Do something. Just sit yourself down. All you got to do. A microphone that works. That one works. That's fantastic. Now, how this is going to work is the points don't matter. Uh, so, yeah. You need to have a buzzer sound. Okay? You need to have a buzzer sound. It's okay, your buzzer sounds. Because we can't say anything. I, I, reckon, I reckon just your name, just so that we can sort of distinguish. Okay. Yeah. So, if you say your name like like a buzzer, like Moonrise or Cutting or <laughs> something like that. Something that, you know. Helps us identify you from the, the flock. Um, and, Beck, can I get you running around to whoever answers first? And we have a couple questions for you guys. These are your leaders, and they are going to be answering questions. Have they been paying attention? We will find out. First question, can you do the most convincing Callum Howie impersonation? <laughs> yes, Moonrise. Dude, don't we all just impersonate everybody anyway? No, I mean we do not impersonate everybody every way, Moonrise. Sorry about that. It is Moonrise, yes? Moonrise? 
It is whatever it is. It is whatever it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Very biblical words. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, oh, okay, guys. Uh, um, this is like an American accent. So this is probably not great. <laughs> she let is me, very let, American. Yeah, let, let me think. Callum, Callum Howard. Um, Don't hog the mic, Caleb. You've no. only got limited time. Better hurry give it up. Me, give me time. Plenty of time. But no. <laughs> um, wait, you go. Do you want to go, Jim? She hasn't buzzed. Do you guys want to go? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't no. buzzed. I've got time. Do you know how this show works, Caleb? Huh? Do you know how this show works? <laughs> if you want the mic, you buzz. And I'm losing interest well, in you very Beck, quickly. Beck gave me the mic. <laughs> yeah, Beck. Can anyone do the most convincing Callum Howie impersonation? We don't want to leave until... Come on. Go. Oh, Jem. Yes. Oh, here we go. Yes. We need a buzzer yes. sound. We need a buzzer sound. Oh, you're going to make the buzz. Uh. Um, so, guys, for activities, what I want you guys to do oh. <laughs> is... Um, you just got to... Just uh, Team Z, just Z. Did I say Z? Ah. Just Z ah. up the back. Up the back. <laughs> Woo! Wow, fantastic. Abby, Abby, you get, you get, I reckon, 20 points for that one. Uh, next question. What did we have for lunch on Saturday? Ooh. Can I ask no one in the audience? If you know, please do not shout it out. Is it potatoes? Potatoes. Yes. Roast potato. Baked potatoes. Baked I'll potatoes. pay it. I'll pay it. I reckon that's an easy one, so, you know, five points, five points for that one. What was the full name of the man that our speaker Toby pretended to be? Jemima. Simon, I'm a good guy. Simon, I'm a good guy. <laughs> Will we pay that? Simon, I'm the good guy. I'm a really... Do we have any other answers from the floor? No other answers? All right, we'll move on. Objectively, who is the best leader on camp? Objectively. Objectively <laughs> which means literally. Here we go. No, it's not Caleb. You're wrong. Oh, Sorry. No. Ah, oh, oh, Caleb. Subjectively, it's me. But Subjectively. Uh, Colin. Colin Spackman. Uh, I don't, it's not what I've written here. Uh, any other answers on from the floor? No other answers. Wow, they're all so petrified that they're going to get roasted if they say the wrong name. <laughs> Is it Matt? That's a, that's a good answer. Yep, <laughs> yep, that works. That's 50 points right there. Yep, fantastic. Objectively, wow. Yeah, that feels good. All right. How many times have we sung the song Rejoice at camp? <laughs> I need to hear buzzers. Come on, buzzers. Uh, I need to hear buzzers. Please do not call it out from the crowd. Pardon? Is three the correct answer? I think it is. Yay! Our decision is final. If it's not, that's fine. You might have sung it a few more times in your own private time. That's fine. What is the final rule in the Camp Rules booklet? Jemima. Don't clap too much. <laughs> Don't clap too much is not the final rule, but she's getting it anyway. <laughs> Give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. A very bold answer, but unfortunately not the correct one. Any other answers? Well done. Fantastic. The correct, the correct answer is, the final rule is the final rule, which is the convener's decision is final. Yeah, ah. makes sense, makes sense. What is PYV's opinion on appropriate clothing? Mm. Mm. Recently, changed. recently changed. It is recently changed. Oh. Moonrise, or it is what it is. Go for it. You were never fully dressed without a smile. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not what I have here, unfortunately. We can't go around wearing smiles all day. Caleb, I didn't hear a buzzer. Uh, Caleb. Caleb. Uh, burka. A burka. No, Pauline. No, sorry, Pauline. No, that's not, that's not counted either. 
Hmm. Any other answers from the floor? No other answers. No one else. Anyone else? For the right answer, maybe? We could ask Leonard. <laughs> Why would we ask Leonard? Abby. Um, <coughs> this comes from my personal experience, but um, yeah, last year, the uh, Leonard Lowe, the leader, one of the leaders, was very distraught to find out that he could no longer wear singlets on camp. Um, so from that piece of information, I do know that uh, it is now required as a T-shirt. T-shirts is correct. Well done. That's like the first correct answer in like three questions. Oh, yeah. Kai Ching, you can get 10 points for the, uh, the rejoice question, although very, very softly spoken. And Abby, you can have uh, 20 points for that uh, appropriate clothing. Uh, if you could be an Oreo, which Oreo would you be? <laughs> if you'd been paying attention, you would know. Caleb? Is, is it gold? Oh. I mean, that's personal preference, but I'll take it, you know? <laughs> I mean, you could be walking around being a bronze Oreo. You could enjoy it. Any other questions from the floor or answers from the floor? The punchline. <laughs> a punchline is unfortunately not an Oreo, ladies and gentlemen. All right, next question. Explain. Actually, not explain. We have a couple other things. Can you have a look at the screen? And we have something to show you. We may have to wait for one second. Can you please explain what is happening in this picture? <laughs> Jemima. <laughs> please, from the floor, from the audience, please refrain your laughter and your comments. Ryan thinking about how he can get away with getting the most watermelon at dinner. Ooh, sneaky Ryan stealing all the watermelon. Abby. Um, this is the face when one of the singers tells him to turn up their fold back. <laughs> <laughs> It may or may not be true. Any other answers from the floor? No, we will move on. Explain the process of constructing a vegan egg. <laughs> Moonrise, or whatever your name is. Who's Moonrise? <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, to become and construct anything, you have to deconstruct yourself. <laughs> and then you reconstruct what you want to become or what you want to build. So you have to construct within your mind the egg after reconstructing yourself to be a vegan. Very philosophical moonrise. Um, wow. I, that's not what I have here, but I mean, I cannot argue with that. Any other answers from the floor? Otherwise, he's getting the points. Wow, that's literally the best thing we can come up with. Wow, fantastic. I mean, you know, 20 points for that, fantastic. Uh, how many voice cracks has this Matt person performed on The Late Show? <laughs> too many? I didn't hear a buzzer, so that doesn't count. I said too many. Oh, Caleb. Oh, he said too many. Okay. Sure? What? Whatever. Yeah, they have. Any other, any other comments at all? <laughs> at all? No? Too many? Really, just too many? Too many? It depends how long you want to stay in puberty for. Oh! <laughs> uh, Caleb's getting the points for that one. Uh, ten points for Caleb. Fantastic. Uh, from which place does Toby hail? From which place? And we're looking for a very specific answer here. Very specific. Please, please. Where he hails from, yes. Hails, where he comes from. Warnable? Not Warnable. Incorrect, incorrect. Can I go again? Nil? No, incorrect. Anyone else? Really, no inkling. Oh, Caleb was closest. All right, the correct answer is... <clears throat> Warn them, ball. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, Warn them ball sounded right, but unfortunately, it was Warn them ball. So, yeah, nah. All right, next image. Have a look at this image and please explain what is happening here. Not that one. <laughs> Maybe the next one or the one after the one with Ryan. It's coming. Don't worry. Oh, what is happening here? Caleb. Abby bursting Leonard's pimple. Bursting Leonard's pimple? Any other answers? 
Abby? Um, that is, in fact, uh, Noah Vasiliadis popping Leonard's pimple. Ooh. More specific? More specific? Any other answers? Is that actually what happened? <laughs> that's disgusting! <laughs> okay, that's minus 20 points for both of you. <laughs> that is disgusting. All right. Finish this sentence. If you mess with the ball... What? <laughs> Not Damo. If you mess with the ball, buzzers please. Then you have to uh, clean up with the cow. <laughs> close. Very close. Anyone else? Anyone from the floor? Oh, there are five contestants. Not you guys. <laughs> wow, really? I did hear that. It sounded like you get the horns. Hey. Wow, correct. 20 points. All right, this is a very important one, and some people will be very upset if you get it wrong. Name all the members of the tech team. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. You guys really haven't been paying much attention at all. <laughs> what have you been doing on camp? Eating vegan eggs? Eating Oreos? Other vegan things? I'll give you a hint. There are three. There are three members of the tech team, and yeah, you could probably could look at them right now. That'd probably be a hint. Buzzers, please. Caleb, he's dominating the competition. Uh, Ryan, Ryan, Dave, and Abby. Okay. Ryan, Dave, and Abby. Very good. I'm very sad that Abby did not volunteer for that uh, question. Maybe she doesn't even know who she's working with. Maybe she doesn't want to associate with watermelon thieving thugs. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, let's have a look at another picture and tell me what's happening. This is the final picture of the night. Again, it, oh, what is happening here? <laughs> Buzzers, please. Jemima. God reveals that we're not the only life form in the universe. We are not the only <laughs> life form in the universe. There are some bucket people, potentially, <laughs> potentially. Any other answers from the floor? Caleb? Potheads. Potheads. <laughs> Caleb, keep this G-rated, please. <laughs> You'll have a big stern warning from uh, someone, probably Brian. <laughs> Any other thoughts from the floor? Oh, Moonrise? Here we go. Oh, boy. I don't know who you're talking about, man. <laughs> Um, what we have here is something that um, I've seen it before. It's a, it's a bit of an existential crisis when <laughs> your face just it doesn't exist anymore, and it actually starts in your mind, and <laughs> it comes out, and the bucket just appears, man, and it comes from your mind, and I don't know what to do about it because it it's permanent, man, and there's one just gone. <laughs> I think we need to call his parents because he's, he's, he's a goner, man. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For that answer, I mean, we've got to award 200 points for that. Moonrise, you are the champion of Have You Been Paying Attention? <laughs> Can you thank all of our contestants? Abby, Kiting, Jem, Caleb, and Moonrise. Come on, what about the clapping? You may go to your seats. Thank you very much. And please take a chair with you if you wish. And don't take anything else with you. Like a bucket. I don't want to know what time it is, but I do know what time it is. It's time to say goodbye. <laughs> it doesn't taste very good, can can acclaim. Oh, well, thank you, Matt. It's been lovely getting to know you even better than I already knew you. Did you know? Okay, wait. Can we just do a little thing? Okay, who do you think is older, Matt or Beck? Hands up for Matt, who's older. Hands up for Beck, who's older. Oh, 
Ha ha, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. And I was born the 24th, 96. And actually, it's kind of weird. Can I say the weird thing? Okay. So, like, Matt's mom really liked me and my mom. They really liked each other and they wanted to be friends. And so they low-key betrothed us together. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, Zach won my heart. So, <laughs> yep. Anyway, that's the awkward fact of the night. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's been great. Yeah, thank you. We definitely did most of the work. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. This heartfelt goodbye is still arriving. It's slow. Oh, the weather tomorrow is like 29 degrees, guys. Uh, wear a sun hat. I assume Australia probably lost the cricket. They did. There you go. Um, and... I don't know what else happened. Uh, I am. Yeah. I'm even wearing Been socks. Up here lighting up the sky. Oh, and there we go. Um, it's goodbye, everyone. Up. Good night. Do you have time have to sing fun. a goodbye song before you go? You're more than welcome. Always it's a classic banger. Hey, this was really fun. We hope you liked it too. Seems like we've just begun when, when suddenly we're, we're through. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Cause now it's time to go. But hey, I say, well, that's okay. Cause we'll see you very soon, I know. Very soon, I know. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. And tomorrow, just like today. The moon, the bear, and the big blue house will be waiting for you to come and play. To come and play. To come and play. Bye now. Bye.